Okay, <clears throat> now let's have a look at three, and I'm going to start off with C because it looks really gross, but if you walk through it, you'll see it's not that intimidating, okay? So for starters, can we just write down the arithmetic series that they've got there? Okay, so it starts with n minus 10, minus 3, plus 4, plus dot, 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 plus 60, okay? Now what we're going to do, I've left it here on the board so we can refer to it. What we're going to do is try to use one of these. Try to use one of these, okay? Now just for the sake of giving it a go, I want to see if we can use this one because I'm given the last term. See that? You're like, end on 60, okay? So I'm going to use that fact. Shh, sorry. Cambridge. Now, please note with me, have a look at the way we've written the series. This particular formula requires three pieces of information. It requires N, it requires A, it requires L. Which of these do we have just visible on the surface out of the three? I've got A and L. There's A, there's L. In fact, I'd love you to write that with me. Here's A and here's L. Okay. What I lack is N. How many terms are there? I don't know. So here's the way we're going to do it. We're going to look at this L, right? This is the same as the nth term, okay? And I can use this formula that we've already worked with to work out how many terms there are. Watch. Shh. Term N equals this. A plus N minus 1, lots of the common difference, and that's what I'm supposed to end on, okay? This is the nth term. So what's the first term again? You told me. It's right there. It's minus 10. I don't know what n is, that's what I'm trying to solve for, so I just leave it there. It's a bit of a messy n. And then what's the common difference? You can read that off. Seven. It's 7, right? Are we adding or are we subtracting? Adding. We're adding. And obviously, sometimes you're subtracting, the series is getting smaller, but in this case, I'm just going to go 7 on the end there. Okay? Now, because I've gotten rid of every other pronumeral, I can just rearrange and solve for n. Can you guys have a go? It shouldn't take too long. Add 10 to both sides, go ahead and divide through, and then tell me what you get for n. N equals 9. 9? No, n equals 11. N minus 1 lots of 7 equals 70. You see I just added, yeah? Divide through, which gives me 10, and then we do the final addition. There we go, bam, 11. Okay. So now that I know what n is, I can go straight up here and go, okay. There's my n, 11 on 2 times first term. How do I finish this? First term, uh, minus plus, plus, plus. I put together the two things to make a column, right? So that's plus 60. So there we go. Um, 11 on 2 times, help me out. <laughs> Thank you, okay, brains are still in gear, they're not overheating just yet. Uh, and then we can go from here, uh, 11 lots of 25, that sounds like 250 2 plus 25 is 275, nailed it. Okay? I will in a second. Uh, you're talking about, where's the 2a in my equation? That, that, that one, the 3c. When we did 11 on 2 mm -hmm. minus 10, here. You're right, because that's this one. Yeah? Does that make sense? In fact, one of the A's is hidden in here. There's an A, and then the other A is in here. See that? There's the first A, and then the second A is tucked inside the 60. Does that make sense? 